Hey guys, Sean here from Tesla Family. It's time for a software update. We are now downloading 2019.40.2.1 and I'll show you how that's done. been hearing about the new software update being released to other Tesla owners on social media recently so the past couple of days I've been coming into my uh, screen here and checking for a software update by clicking on software and then checking for an update and today after a couple of days of checking I, I clicked on it it checked for the update and now we're downloading 2019.40.2.1 and of course I am connected to Wi-Fi in order for this download to occur here is a view of the Tesla app showing the software update being downloaded. After the download is complete, you will get this notification saying the software update is available. Alright, now that the software is downloaded, it's ready to be installed. We get this display that pops up on the center screen and this notification, a little yellow clock here in the upper right hand corner. And we can either set the time for the software update to begin or we can install now. So we're going to go ahead and install. Now it looks like it will take approximately 25 minutes to install. And if you hit install now, it will give you a two minute countdown. And you can go a little quicker by even just tapping it a couple times. There we go. So software now is now updating at 40.2.1. Once the software update is complete, you will get another notification on your phone saying it is complete. If you're tracking the actual time it took, disregard the time on my phone. I actually was out doing some yard work and let a little bit of a delay occur before coming back and checking on the completion of the update. It did take around 25 minutes. All right, guys, the update is complete. Let's check it out. After the update is complete, a screen pops up and shows you what the new features are. So here are the new features in this update. Adjacent lane speeds. So we have a new feature now that when your vehicle is moving at a significantly faster speed than vehicles in the neighboring lanes, Autopilot now automatically reduces your driving speed. This is helpful in heavy traffic situations or when there is a long line of vehicles merging into a different lane or exiting onto an off-ramp. When your vehicle detects that adjacent lane traffic is significantly slower, the lane is highlighted with arrows and its vehicles are highlighted gray in the driving visualization. The speed adjustment can be temporarily overridden by pressing the accelerator pedal. We also have automatic wiper improvements. Automatic wipers have been improved to be more likely to activate when it is lightly raining and respond to changes in rain intensity for more environments. The automatic wipers are now employing the first production deep neural network trained with over 1 million images for the detection of water droplets on a windshield and additional weather cues. If automatic wipers is not performing to your preference, any manual adjustment to the wiper speed will be captured to further train and improve the network in future software updates. To enable Automatic wipers have the windshield wiper icon located in the cards area on the touch screen and select auto. So we'll go over here and do that. Looks like we are already set to auto. So no change actually needed to be made to this. We've had it in auto before. But now with the software update, the improvements have been added. We also have automatic lane change improvements. Automatic lane changes have been tuned to make lane changes with more confidence. When the adjacent lane is detected to be open, automatic lane changes will initiate faster and be more assertive. Another feature here, the last feature in this update, is auto steer stop sign warning. Your car may warn you in some cases if it detects that you are about to run a stop sign, in addition to stop lights while auto steer is in use. This is not a substitute for an attentive driver and will not stop the car. And then we have all the previous release notes. We've already had stopping mode, which is excellent. Basically one pedal driving here. Scheduled departure, we've used that before too. Scheduling when you want to leave so you have 
Uh, your car is all charged when you're ready to leave. Automatic navigation. When you get in your car, automatic navigation starts a route to a likely destination. All right, so that covers the software update. I'm not going to go into detail and show you testing of each of these features. You'll find plenty of other videos on YouTube that cover each of the features. Generally, I wanted this, this video to give an example of what it's like to do a software update on your Tesla. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like my videos, go ahead and click subscribe. Follow us on Twitter at Tesla Family Chan. Stay tuned for the next video.